In this video, we will get an overview of how the propulsion system of Multi works. As cities are growing and land gets more expensive, buildings are inevitably getting higher. We refer to these as high-rise buildings. The higher the buildings are, the longer the travel time of an elevator becomes. Beyond a certain height we face the challenge that the weight of the ropes is far too heavy to maintain a balanced system. Therefore, the industry has invented compensation ropes to keep the system balanced. But this too adds weight to the overall system. So the answer from elevator companies in the past was the idea of transition floors. But wouldn't it be nice to get rid of transition floors altogether in order to save space in the building, not have ropes at all and have an overall lighter system? With the elimination of ropes, we could move several cabins in a single shaft. This is where magnetism kicks in. Maybe you remember your physics classes from long ago, where we learned about the characteristics of magnets and magnetic fields. And we learned that these fields, depending on their polarity, either attract or repel. We were also taught that there are electromagnets as well. This happens when the magnetic field is created by energizing an electromagnetic coil unit. Now, if we were to line up many magnetic coils and energize one coil after the other, we could then add a sledge to the track that could be propelled magnetically. This principle of a so-called linear induction motor could also be applied in the vertical direction and the sledge would move up and down. By adding a cabin to the sledge, it could be used to move people not only up and down, but also sideways. The only piece needed now for changing directions is an exchanger, which acts similarly to railway switches. This allows multiple cabins to run in different directions without ropes, as well as from the bottom to the top without a need for transition floors. And when cabins are not needed, they could be parked in a parking garage, for example during the night time or low traffic periods. As more transportation capacity is required, the park cabins could be reactivated. Isn't this an innovative concept? Yet another great idea from TK Elevator. Welcome to the future of urban mobility. Have a great day. Goodbye.